In this video, I am going to measure the actual flight time of this DJI Mini 4 Pro with the standard battery. And I'm also going to measure it with the Intelligent Plus battery. Some actual flight time on hover mode. Wonderful drone this thing, and it's all about battery life, right? Because that's how long you are up in the air. And when it comes shipped, it comes shipped with this 78 gram battery, 2590 milliamp hours, and DJI claims a flight time of 34 minutes. 34 minutes, pretty darn good, right? But that is so far from real world uh, flight time because there's a lot of caveats with it. The first caveat is they measured it at 13 miles an hour or 20 kilometers per hour with zero wind. So it was moving the whole time and with no wind at all. And both situations do not exist because there's always wind. And second, this thing will not stay moving the whole time until the battery is drained. There's a lot of caveats. So that's the first caveat. The second one is this drone will return to home with about 20% battery left. So it's just not gonna, not gonna move anymore. And then and then it's gonna force a landing with about 10 to 15% battery left. So you can't even use the last 10%. So that 34 minutes, there's no way to get it because it's, it's gonna force itself to land. It doesn't want itself to crash. And this affects a lot of things. You know, it returns to home when, when it's too far away and whatnot. So it does a lot of calculations, so very critical. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I am gonna make it hover. Hover is where you spend a lot of your time Anyway, you're not flying around. This is not an airplane. You're, all, you're, you're more like a helicopter. You're always hovering and taking shots, flying every once in a while. So hover is, I think, a little more practical than really moving around. So I'm gonna hover. I'm gonna put it on in a courtyard, so very little wind. And I'm gonna do a GoPro, and I'm gonna give you the stats of this drone as well, so you can see. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna measure the actual time until it forces itself to land. There may be some battery left, but hey, it's not gonna fly anymore. So this is the real time. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll show you some running video. Uh, we're, gonna take, we're gonna take off, we're gonna hover about six feet up in the air. Uh, not too low, because there's a lot of backwash down low, and we're just not gonna move. Uh, and this thing holds its position really well. And there's a lot of stats on, on this guy. So my findings are as follows. It uh, went according to plan, really cool. Uh, it just flew up and then at a certain time, it gave me some warning, it returned to home, which was, it was its, at its home point anyway, and then it forced itself to land. And when it landed, the time was 22 minutes and 20 seconds. So that's really what you're gonna get. Uh, if you're flying around, maybe you'll get a few more minutes out of this, but, uh, 34 minutes is what they claim, and really the real world situation on a hover is 22 minutes 20. So with some flying around, maybe you'll get close to 25 minutes. The more wind there is, the, the less the flight time. The higher you're up in altitude, the less the flight time. All right, before I get to my second battery, the Intelligent Plus battery, I wanna show you a, a real tool, a really cool tool. The uh, If you press this, uh, button right here. This is all <laughs> this is all touch screen, by the way, in case you don't know. Uh, it shows you the current battery level, 97%, and then it shows you, you know, how long it's gonna fly until it returns to home, until, until it forces a landing, and until the battery is completely dead, okay? So nice little tool right there. Okay, second part of the test is we have one of the greatest tools around of uh, this drone is the plus battery. The plus battery is much bigger. It is 3850 milliamp hours and instead of 78 grams, it is 121 grams. So 40 grams more. Not a whole lot, but you know, it's about 50% heavier than the uh, stock battery and it puts your drone at under 249 grams. So under the 250 gram limit. So something for you to take note of. So what's really cool is it flies it flies just as stable 
as uh, your lighter battery, even though it added 40 grams, this thing can handle weight. I have another video, by the way, here of how much weight it can handle. And uh, flying around, flying around, uh, this thing was able to hover for 30 minutes and 38 seconds. So pretty darn cool because now you're getting close to the 34 minutes that you were expecting when you bought this drone, right? You weren't expecting, you know, 22 minutes, 30 minutes and 38 seconds. And if you fly around a little bit, you'll get a little more than that. Maybe, you know, 31, 32, 33 minutes. So that's what you get uh, with the bigger battery. So definitely, I highly recommend you get the bigger battery in addition to your regular battery. You know, with those two, you have some really nice options of flying and how far you can go. Uh, and especially in high wind conditions, you know, the extra capacity, it makes it a little more stable too, I think, uh, with, with a little extra weight. All right, so there you go. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, for my next video, I'm gonna tell you about five things that you need to know about these batteries uh, to help you with your experience with the DJI Mini family of drones.